Hi everybody, so nice to see you again. I received so many comments in the last two videos. I'm very happy to see so much discussions from all the videos I have made. And I would just like to say thank you. And if you have any subjects that you would like to discuss about, um, please in the, leave in the comments below. So today I'm going to talk about something that is very much important to pianists and also oftentimes very feared. Um, that is competitions. I am going to uh, leave for Amsterdam soon in the next few days to judge in a, a competition. I will be there for 10 days, so it's a very long competition. Um, so I thought this is a very good time to share my experience and some of my thoughts about preparing for competitions. Um, I did many competitions when I was a child and as a student I started when I was about seven and up to mm, in the last few years and from very small competition to very important competitions and that was a process for me and I had uh, many valuable experience and I thought that I can share those with you. The first thing is about the preparation and the preparation for the competition. Number one thing is choosing the right competition for you. You wouldn't want to choose something that has too much repertoire um, to prepare for the time being that when you're very young. So it's good to start from a smaller competition and build up your repertoire and little by little, step by step to bigger competitions. And sometimes you see competition that has single composers such as Chopin competitions, or you see a mixed competition. For example, I can think of Cleveland competitions or many others, Queen Elizabeth competitions. Um, so when you prepare, you would think, do I want to be playing three hours of the same composer's work? Or would I want to sh um, share with the audience a multiple composers, a mixture of program? So this is something to keep in mind when you decide which competition to do. And secondly, um, the amount of repertoire that you need to prepare is also very important. Uh, when you are young, you are learning new repertoire and it's good to prepare over a long period of time so that those repertoire becomes comfortable in your fingers. So when you prepare for a competition, not, not everything is brand new. It's good to keep a good balance of older repertoire and new repertoire. So the amount of repertoire that you need to prepare for a certain competition is also another factor into which competition you want to choose. And thirdly is the level of the competition. For example, if you are very young and just new to the competition uh, uh, process, you wouldn't want to go right away into the biggest competition because um, it will take a longer time to prepare and you might not be prepared mentally to enter it. And if you don't do so well, might be very discouraged. So it's like testing water to start smaller and build to the larger ones. And the fourth thing about preparation is that sometimes there are concerto competitions. I always encourage my students to enter concerto competitions because it's a very wonderful way to learn concerto and it's great to have many, many concertos in your fingers. And oftentimes when you enter a concerto competition, you win and you get to play with an orchestra. And when you are young as a student, that might be the only chance you can perform with an orchestra. So concerto competition, therefore, is a very good way to try. And I always thought that the preparation for the competitions is good to plan backwards. So for example, now is a January, and if you're preparing for competitions, let's say in a year's time, you can start now and plan backwards. Because oftentimes in larger competitions, you need to send in videos. So the deadline is maybe six months before the competition. So it's good to have a good timeline. Smaller competition takes shorter time, but it's good to have a good timeline and plan backwards so you feel comfortable um, when you go to perform. So you don't run into a situation where you feel so unprepared and the repertoire is not ready and it's not memorized when you show up at the competitions. 
Next, I'm going to be talking about how to choose the right repertoire for competition, as well as to keep the best mentality as you prepare. Be sure to come back to see conversations with Qingyun next Thursday. I'll see you then.